করার সেন্ট্রাল পক্ষ থাকি আমরা প্রতি জেলার মোলানা প্রতিষ্ঠা তাই আমরা ব্যবস্থা করেছেন পরিচালনা করা আমি তো আসলে এখন দূরের কথা পালন করা হয় আপনারা <laughs> 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 أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لو
Pari Maulana Abdulahad Sahib. I would like to request Pari Maulana Abdulahad Sahib, can you please perform Islamic Nashi in front of our students? <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Islamic Nasheed from our students. 
first nasib performer Humaira Khatun from group 2. Humaira Khatun, come forward and recite Islamic nasib. <laughs> which has been performed by one of our students, Humaira Khatun. Next performer, Tawhidul Islam Talha, come forward and perform Islamic Nasheed. And I will join with him, inshallah. Everyone try to join with him now.
Adam Islam. Adam Islam from group one. Louder with Adam. Be quiet. which is about praising of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala performed by Adam Islam. Next one, Mumina Khatun. Mumina Khatun come forward and perform an Islamic nasheed.
In praising of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he said, "Nurun ala nur, light upon light." He is none but Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He is actually light. Light. The word is used in Arabic in Quran and Karim, nur. So, nurun ala nur means light upon light. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "I am from the light of Allah." And everything is created from my light. Say Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Min nuri la. Wa kullu shayim min nuri. I am from the light of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and everything has been created from my light. Next one. Talha ha. Come and perform an Islamic nasheed. Next one, Rohan Ahmed. Rohan Ahmed. Take of your hood. Bring mics close to your mouth. Yes. <laughs> So be patient before I till end of our program. Understand? Lock your mouth for a few minutes. Namaskurle, Yemun Rudu, 
So I would like to request him, can you please deliver your speech in front of our students? Alhamdulillah, I 
Alhamdulillah. Now, Alhamdulillah, all praises belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Salutation, durood of a noble prophet, Sayyidina Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I would like to thank the Imam al Khatib Saab and the management and all the guests here, especially you children. Now, I'm not going to give you a speech. I want to talk to you. Can you cooperate and help me to speak? If you can, I will be really grateful to you. Only about five, six minutes, inshallah, we'll finish. Now, I would like to ask you a question. Why we are here? Are you here to celebrate your success? Yes or no? Yes. Are you a successful person? Yes. What have you achieved in your life? Now you're going to achieve this, yeah? If you are successful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talk about the success and a person who is successful in this world and hereafter. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in para 18, Beginning of Farah 18. Listen. Anyone recite? Anyone read Quran here? Yeah. How many of you read Quran? Raise your hand. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when talking about success, mashallah, lots of you. Farah 18. Beginning of Farah 18, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Qad aflahal mu'minun. The true believer, they are successful believers. Then, Next ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explained that the 10 categories, 10 different criteria, 10 different personality who will be successful in this world and hereafter. So second ayat, الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ Who pray the namaz, the salah, with devotion, will put attention to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with full concentration. So how can he concentrate in Salah? There's a many ways. Number one, one of the most important things is Quran. Okay? So if your Quran is not perfect yet, then you are not a successful person. Am I right? Yes. So wake up now, boys and girls. We need to learn Quran by heart. We need to put, learn Quran with Tajweed. Who said that? Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَرَكْتِلِ الْقُرْآنَ تَرْتِيلًا Read Quran with Tartil. So, to become a successful person in namaz, in your prayer, you have to correct your Quran. Am I right? Yes. If your Quran is not correct, if your Quran recitation is not according to the recitation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how he wanted to recite, you to recite, then we need to correct your recitation. This is why we are here to celebrate our success. And success is if you are a successful person in reciting Quran number one. Now, you think learning Quran is really difficult, isn't it? No. How many of you think learning Quran is very difficult? Okay, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying here at the beginning of the, my, my speech, I said I, I have recited the verse of the Quran. Surah Al Qamar, verse number 22. Does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ever lie? No. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala either saying the truth, which is obviously you always speak the truth. If it's not, then you are saying the truth, right? I mean, you are speaking the truth. So who is speaking the truth, Allah or you? Allah! You said learning from...